Hi everyone, my name is Marta and this video is about my freediving trip with a group of friends to Goza Island, Malta on the Mediterranean Sea. Gozo surprised us with gloomy weather in the middle of June. The sea didn't look very friendly, strong wind, waves, dark clouds, sometimes even rain. But the rough conditions didn't scare us. This trip lasted 10 days and the wind was changing a lot during this time. We have been choosing our dive spots according to the wind, to have calmer sea conditions and to not be taken by the current too far from the shore. Our first spot was the Blue Hole, located on the western end of the island. I had a 5mm thick wetsuit and it was a perfect thickness. The water wasn't warm enough for a thinner one. The Blue Hole is only 15 meters deep, but there is an underwater arch which leads to the open sea. This place is just beside the collapsed azure window, of which remains are underwater now. The blue hole gave me an impression of a cave when I was diving to the bottom. It was really dark down there, between big boulders without the sun. Here you can see the air bubbles trapped under the arch. The water was a bit murky. I really liked this dive spot. All of the dark corners on the bottom. And of course the creepiness and murkiness because of lack of the sun. The fun of diving under the arch to the open sea and back. A lot of corners to explore. The weather slowly started to get better on the second day. Sun really changes everything underwater. Now we could see the sun rays lighting up the sea. After diving, I went on a hike to look around and see the blue hole from above, as well as the view where the famous azure window was once present. It 
was mostly a freediving trip, but I wouldn't be myself without exploring the island on foot. So I checked some other impressive views just around the corner. I love the cliffs, bays and the gigantic fungus rocks taken 60 meters out of the sea. On some other day, we have been diving outside of the blue hole, just above the collapsed remains of Azure Window. Those rock remains looked really huge underwater. I felt like looking at some sunken ancient walls, almost like a building that was once above the water and then forces of nature have destroyed it. Exactly in this place, the Azure Window would be just above my head. Southern Cliffs of Gozo are one of my favorite places on the island. They are 120 meters high and dangerously steep with azure lagoons glowing below. Another day between freediving sessions I went on a hike to Malta Island. I walked for 12 kilometers in sun and heat because I wanted to see some of the coast over there. Back on Gozo, one of really awesome places is the Northern Sea Canyon. It's accessible from a small beach and it's 600 meters long. The depth goes slowly down to 26 meters on the exit. The cliffs underwater are covered with beautiful plants shimmering in the sun rays. Of course, after diving, I went on a hike above the canyon. The views were amazing. The surrounding area is known for underwater caves. I've tried swimming in this half-open cave, but I was just in my swimming suit and I got stung by a jellyfish in my arm. And I was so surprised that a small jellyfish can cause such a burning pain. Because of that, unfortunately, I have no footage from the cave.
we saw something unusual after one of our free diving sessions. A diamond bag squid egg mass. Of course, no one knew what it was at first, but searching through internet afterwards helped a lot. So the last few days we were free diving on the south side of the island. There were three shipwrecks sunken along the coastline, nearby each other, marked by those big yellow buoys. The shipwrecks lie very deep, 40 to 45 meters. The one I saw a few times started at 32 meters with the deck at 35, and the lowest part at 45 meters. I managed to dive to 35 meters and recorded the wreck. I was very happy and proud of myself because I could go that deep on a single breath and see this big sunken ship hidden from everyone's eyes on the surface. I love to see these kinds of places, mysterious, inaccessible to many, difficult to explore. Obviously it was too deep for me to explore the wreck while freediving. Maybe someday I'll do a scuba diving course. But one course is probably not enough to explore shipwrecks, or go that deep. And this is beautiful in freediving, you don't need tons of equipment or many courses to go to a certain depth. Between Gozo and Malta there is a small island of Comino with a famous blue lagoon and many caves just around the corner accessible by boat. Blue lagoon was indeed very beautiful but there were too many people on the island. We had our tickets and we thought we could dive in the caves, but the boat didn't even stop for swimming there. Anyway, it was a nice ride. I had an unusual encounter underwater. I met European common cuttlefish, a very cute little animal that didn't even run away from me. This trip was obviously so much more to me than just freediving. Beautiful landscapes, nature, caves, rocks, trees and plants that don't grow in my country, villages built of stone, narrow kids, streets, food, architecture, spending time with people who share the same hobby, living in a very local house. So many beautiful memories. Thank you all for watching.